Some of the area's most vulnerable people are getting help with the storm. Spokane Valley's Meals on Wheels dropped off extra blankets, hats, and scarves to 200 local seniors. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live in Spokane Valley with that story and road conditions out there. Yeah, right now it is just pouring down rain here in the valley. We're just off Appleway. Appleway is just bare and wet. We got here on I-90. It also is bare and wet. But as you've heard all day long, I mean, the snow is coming. And when that happens this weekend, the elderly in our area don't get out. That's why Meals on Wheels went and checked on them today, and they brought them something extra in order to keep get them, help get them through the next few days. Okay, you guys have three blankets and hats. A couple hours before the snowflakes started to fall today. They're very pretty, very colorful. Meals on Wheels volunteers picked up something extra to help with the coming storm. We have hats and blankets made by Project Warm Up and people of the community. We get these donations once a year for the specific purpose of sending those out to our seniors uh, to help keep them warm during the cold winter months. Driver Ed Koschok and his wife Ann and their grandson Sam hit the road this morning to deliver the warm goods and warm food. It's macaroni and cheese, uh, broccoli, and looks like uh, stewed apples with raisins. Spokane Valley's Meals on Wheels dropped off around 200 hats, scarves, and blankets today. Every little bit helps, you know, and a lot of folks, because they're sedentary, uh, you know, they don't stay as warm as you and I would when we're up moving around, so every little bit helps. He's in a wheelchair, so I figured he could use the blanket. Every year in the United States, around 25 people, mostly elderly, freeze to death in their homes. Volunteers like the cost chocks make sure that number doesn't grow higher. They don't have anybody that checks on them and stops to see them and talk to them, and some of them, we're the only people they talk to all day. Many organizations and local authorities are asking neighbors to check on neighbors, especially early next week when the temperatures are supposed to drop. Reporting live in the Valley, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News.